Hello friends! PCM Europe Digital Days was great, with some nice product updates which I will cover soon in my blog. Stay tuned for it. And now, let's see what is new in power semiconductors industry. Infineon Technologies introduced a new automotive power module with CoolSeq MOSFET technology. At this year's virtual PCM trade show, Infineon presented the new hybrid pack drive CoolSeq, a full bridge module with 1200 volt blocking voltage optimized for traction inverters in electric vehicles. The power module is based on the automotive CoolSeq range MOSFET technology for high power density and high performance applications. This offers high efficiency in inverters with longer ranges and low battery costs, particularly for vehicles with 800 volt battery systems and larger battery capacity. The new hybrid pack drive CoolSeq is in production now and will be available starting June 2021. Sysoid, the leader in high temperature semiconductors and power modules, is adding to its growing platform of three phase silicon carbide MOSFET intelligent power module products by introducing new liquid cooled modules for immobility tailored for lower switching losses of a higher power. The company is also introducing a module based on a lightweight LSIG flat blaze plate that meets the demand for natural convection or force cooling in aerospace and in dedicated industrial applications. These products integrate a three-phase SIG MOSFET module with a powerful gate driver. These new IPMs leverage a technology platform that can be rapidly adapted to new voltage, power and cooling requirements. They greatly accelerate the design of SIG-based power converters, enabling high efficiency and high power density. IMAC, a world-leading research and innovation hub in nanoelectronics and digital technologies, and Xtron, the leading provider of deposition equipment for compound semiconductor materials, have demonstrated the epitaxial growth of gallium nitride buffer layers qualified for 1200V applications on 200mm QST substrates, with a hard breakdown exceeding 1800V. The manufacturability of 1200V qualified buffer layers opens doors to highest voltage GAN-based power applications, such as electric cars, previously only feasible with silicon carbide-based technology. The result comes after the successful qualification of Xtron's G5 Plus C fully automated metal organic chemical vapor deposition reactor at iMac for integrating the optimized material EpiStack. Power inverters made using silicon carbide improve a car's performance while also allowing increased torque and acceleration. On Semiconductor is participating in the Formula E World Championship with a partnership with the Mercedes EQ Formula E team on the development of next-generation electric powertrains equipped with silicon carbide inverters. The technical collaboration between On Semiconductor and Mercedes AMG's High Power Performance Division has provided technological advances for race cars. In an interview with EE Times, On Semiconductor Vice President Global Systems Engineering highlighted how design and testing go hand in hand with Formula E, enabling the continuous improvement of the inverter power stages. NXP Semiconductors sold 2 billion US dollars of bonds to help finance the development of semiconductors that reduce energy consumption in products like power adapters and electric vehicles. The money will partly fund research and development for innovation in green chips, battery control and energy management for electric and hybrid cars, smart building technologies, as well as energy efficiency measures at NXP's own facilities. The funds were raised by subsidiaries NXP BV, NXP Funding LLC and NXP USA Incorporated. Infineon Technologies has concluded a supply contract with the Japanese wafer manufacturer Showa Denker for an extensive range of silicon carbide material, including epitaxy. The German semiconductor manufacturer has thus secured more base material for the growing demand for SIG based products. SIG enables high efficient and robust power semiconductors that are used in particular in the fields of photovoltaic, industrial power supply, and charging infrastructure for electric vehicles. The contract between Infineon and Showa Denka has a two year term with an extension option. Taiwan has lagged behind world leaders by 20-30 years in the development of third-generation semiconductor materials, including silicon carbide, and must use more collective forces to accelerate the advancement in the segment, according to MK Liu, chairman of Automotive Diet America Actron Technology. Liu, speaking at the inauguration ceremony for Taiwan Compound Semiconductor Alliance, said that he hopes more manufacturers will join the alliance to build a strong ecosystem covering diverse aspects ranging from equipment, materials and epi wafers to wafer foundry and terminal applications. Liu said Acton will be ramping up production capacity for silicon carbide MOSFETs in 2022-23 for using hybrid vehicles with 
48 and 80 volt power systems and will continue to roll out with partner silicon based IGBT modules with 600, 750 and 1200 volt in power capacity for future pure electric vehicles. That's it so far. Thanks everyone for watching. See you next week. Meanwhile, go to Marketing Psycho website for more information or join me in social media. Stay safe.